guys. Hey, uh, you want to do a Run Your Fleet 2024 uh, challenge video with the only two Tamiya um, ORV uh, chassis that I've got. I think it's right, ORV off road vehicle. I think it's what they're called. Um, first off, the Tamiya Blackfoot, which was built and Elf, one hell of a guy right there, and uh, he had sent me this. And very cool masters of the universe scheme and everything that he did. Um, then my uh, super brat that um, I almost thought about making into a frog, but I'm just gonna wait and someday hopefully I'll have money to buy me a new frog. Um, because I definitely want a frog again. That was my first car I ever raced when I was a kid, and pretty cool. But anyway, uh, been out here working on the racetrack, uh, getting trying to get rid of all the grass. I still gotta hit the jump areas and stuff, but um, laying down black pipe, um, gotta get more of that, and uh. Yeah, just trying to make the track bigger and wider and faster and stuff like that. But but anyway, I'm going to take out the uh, Blackfoot first. Had some uh, steering problems with it. And uh, what I ended up having to do was... Um, I'm being very careful with this thing because I don't want to scratch it. Um, I had uh, put a longer steering screw in the uh, servo horn and it took care of the problem I was having. I had the steering was moving around on it and uh, so that took care of it. So now I can steer it again. It was, actually what I did was it stripped out the, uh, the teeth on the On the actual gear uh, where the servo horn fits on. Um, not gonna go through the water. Unfortunately, three and four is a lake still. But this thing gets on it pretty good though. Especially when you're trying to drive one handed. Duh. But, um, lost my train of thought. That happens when you get old. Man, this thing's just fun to drive. This really, this is only a second or third time, second or third time I've drove this thing since, actually a third, third time I've drove this thing since I've had it from the RCL when he sent it to me. Last time I was out here, the steering got screwed up, so now it steers. Hee <laughs> hee. Steering's always a good thing. Very cool. I love the Blackfoot anyway. I've, I've always wanted the Blackfoot. And um, when I was a kid, I loved them. Um, always wanted one. And uh, now thanks to the RCL, if I got one. But like I said, I want to definitely get me a frog. Because the frog is just too cool. I, I, I love the frog. It's just... And there again, it's another one of the ORV, I think I'm saying it right, off-road vehicle. I think that's what it stands for, the ORV chassis. So, there's that one. And, now we're going to run Subaru. Maybe we can get out of the grass. Way off on this one. Okay, cool. A little, uh... I don't know what's wrong with this car, but it, well, I'm driving my one-handed too, that doesn't help, but it does, it's almost like kit, it's got a mind of its own. Cool. I like it. Whoa, wipe out. Hey, donuts. I'll get rid of the grass. <laughs> I 
Yeah, actually it will. <laughs> well, that's cool. Donut's good on both directions. Sweet. Yeah, this racetrack has a lot of work to do. But anyhow, so yeah, like I said, I wanted to get me another video for the uh, Run Your Fleet 2024 challenge and uh pretty cool figured i'd run both my uh orvs at the same time man this track needs so much work it's just we had so much rain and it just everything grew like crazy and it's just been an absolute disaster um, we've been wanting to get our new runway put down, but everything's been too wet to even get out there and try to unroll the old stuff and, uh, flatten it out, you know, roll it and everything to put the new stuff down. So, just crazy. But we're supposed to have, like, a week and a half, uh, two weeks, something like that, of no rain. God, I hope so. <laughs> It'll probably be super hot then, but, oh well. Whoa, deal with that any, any day over messing with, uh, whoa, get out of the weeds, messing with wet racetrack surfaces and stuff, because what I want to do, I want to get this, I want to get some dirt and really build a competition track, something where we can have, you know, 20, 30, 40 people, you know, out here on a Friday night and, you know, just come out and have fun and race and get a scorekeeping system and you know that kind of thing it's my ideas i have big plans for it but anyway well guys uh if you're new to my channel welcome glad you found it and uh stay tuned for more fun stuff to come with the uh run your fleet 2024 challenge um if you guys want to get in on that it's real simple just make a, a intro video that you're jumping in and uh hashtag run your fleet 2024 and um make a make a uh, full folder um, that you put all your videos in so that way they're real easy to find you can just go and look up that um i know it's not called a folder but it's something else but uh then uh you know, just put all your videos in there for the challenge. And like I said, just be cool to see everybody get their stuff off the off the shelves, you know. I mean, I know some of the guys that I know got stuff that hasn't even got off the ground. and Or, well, airplanes too. I mean, if it's radio control, cars, airplanes, whatever. Um, you know, just come on out and, you know, uh, get them out have fun you know even if you only drive them one time at least that's one time this year that they've been dri driven or flown or you know put in the water you know, boats too so that's some noisy kill deer flying over but anyway guys well like i said uh go ahead and do those uh videos up if you want to join the challenge and uh stay tuned for more fun stuff to come and we will talk to you guys later have a good one. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Bye.